Good afternoon. It is Tuesday, November 25th, 2025. We're going to be looking ahead at your Thanksgiving forecast with the updated information because there is going to be some extremely cold air along to go with big snowstorms even beyond Thanksgiving into early and mid-December. So I hope you brace yourself for what's to come with this big, massive pattern change. So with that being said, let's start looking at the latest GOES satellite imagery across the lower 48. And we have a lot going on out there right now as far as what the jet stream is actually doing. So first off, we have a lot of Central Valley fog. We talked about that yesterday, and it doesn't look like it's going to burn off or mix out very easily all the way through the weekend. So for your Black Friday shopping, this still stay cloudy and foggy in the Central Valley because of this upper level ridge that is hugging the West Coast. And this ridge is not going anywhere anytime soon either, keeping a lot of California and even Oregon pretty dry for a while. But what it ends up happening is when you get northwesterly flow like this, well, it means very cold temperatures are coming to the Midwest, to the Great Lakes, to the Northern Plains, and even across much of the nation east of the Rockies. And that's going to trigger more lake effect snow for the Great Lakes and some extremely cold temperatures for many other areas. And then, of course, that's going to lead to more snowstorms wherever the two air masses of warm Gulf air meet the colder air out of the north. So now when we take a look at those current temperatures as of the 11 o'clock hour in Pacific Standard Time, we can clearly see where it's cold and where it's not so much. OK, so, of course, across Montana, Wyoming and the Dakotas temperatures right now in the 30s and 20s, it is cold. And it's only going to get colder in the next several days, especially around Black Friday and beyond. Boy, oh boy, wait until you see the global computer models. It is looking pretty, pretty significant when it comes to that Arctic air. And then down here to the south, you're looking at temperatures, well, in the 70s, in the 80s. Yeah, we even got some upper 80s down here near McAllen Air Force Base in southern Texas. So, boy, it is just warm, very far south. Of course, that's where the warmer air should be. And then, of course, you go further north, it gets colder because of the lower sun angle. But I'll tell you, temperatures in the 50s and close to 60 degrees around Indiana, the Ohio Valley, and across Tennessee. But that will be changing as we go into the weekend and into early next week of the first full week of December. So here's a look at the 24-hour uh, temperature change. So what it was like yesterday compared to now. And so anything in blue and purple here indicates that temperatures are colder today than they were 24 hours ago. So you can see the blue, the purple there indicating temperatures 10 to 20 degrees colder today than it was 24 hours ago. And then, of course, you go to the deep south here in Arkansas and Texas. Temperatures are roughly about 5 to 8 degrees warmer today than they were yesterday, including for the northeast. But I'll tell you, one place that is not seeing much colder weather from day to day is in the Central Valley here, where temperatures are about the same where they were yesterday. And that's what happens when you get that Central Valley fog. Temperatures don't cool off at night much, and they don't warm up at all during the day. In fact, we only had a temperature spread of two degrees yesterday in parts of the Central Valley, indicating that, say, the low was 48 degrees, only got up to 50 yesterday. And we're going to do the same thing today with those temperatures. So, yeah, nice fall and winter-like weather there in California, despite otherwise really sunny skies above the fog deck. So now what is going to be happening across the nation, especially for Thanksgiving Eve, Thanksgiving Day, and Black Friday? Again, a lot of you are traveling today. I can place your my bets on you guys leaving your house after watching this video, going to an, a friend's house maybe some 100 miles away, or going to maybe a family reunion across the country. So if you're flying out, if you're driving um, on interstate roads, today is one of those days where, yes, most of the nation is looking at some nice weather, although there is some dense fog in the midsection because of the low stratus that you're seeing. But otherwise, not bad at all. Looking quite good here with at least partly cloudy skies with some sunny skies um, throughout much of the deep south and this desert southwest. 
Also in California looking good as well, but if you get stuck in that Thule fog, especially if you're higher up because the ceiling is about 2,000 feet, um, you're going to encounter some of that. Now, if you're traveling north on I-5 towards Oregon and Washington today, yes, you're looking at a lot of rainfall, snowfall, strong winds up there in the Pacific Northwest, part of a, uh, a, a little bit of a shortwave trough moving across the region. And then, of course, if you're traveling on Interstate 5 going east here, looking pretty good for the most part, although you run into some rainy conditions in the northeast like new england and then of course a big snowstorm up here across the northern tier of the united states as matters of fact if we take a look at our current weather alerts right now it will clearly um it will you can see right here that's what i was looking for yes dense fog advisory still in effect for the central valley but look at this blizzard warnings and winter storm warnings up here in um minnesota as well as northern wisconsin to the south of that, there is strong winds as well. Look at this. Wind advisories, high wind warnings. We're talking some big time winds with this winter storm. And then, of course, big time lake effect snow is coming to Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, as well as Lake Huron and Lake Superior eventually. Because, again, all of this cold air is going to be coming in out of the north. And, yeah, that is a... That's a tornado watch down there. Wow, we just have everything with this system. Snow to the north, tornadoes and stuff to the south in Alabama. So with that, let's take a look now at that the forecast again. And we can see there's your low pressure system and take note of the isobars here indicating line, um, very tight pressure gradient over distance. Um, so that's why you have the strong winds and the colder temperatures come in with that as well. And the severe weather today is going to be um, rather short lived by tonight. It's going to die away. And then tomorrow, not, not much severe weather because the colder air comes in. And then look at what happens here on Thanksgiving day for your morning. Another storm system approaches the Pacific Northwest. So if you're traveling north or flying in a plane into Seattle or Portland, Keep that in mind, there will be some flight delays and also some road travel delays due to some heavy rainfall and gusty winds. And then, of course, if you're visiting any neighbors across um, the northeast here, um, not the northeast, I meant to say, um, the upper Midwest into the Great Lakes region, you are looking at some lake effect snow, and some of that could be pretty heavy at times because of that colder air moving on in. And so that continues here. So as we go into then Black Friday, conditions look good. But here's the next system coming in across Montana, Wyoming, and into the High Plains as we go into Friday. That would be um, the 28th of um, uh, uh, of November. Excuse me there. Got a brain fart. And then, of course, next storm system knocking on the door for the weekend. This one looks pretty dang significant. Could be a foot or two feet of snowfall with this next winter storm and of course more colder air with it but as it goes northeast it falls apart and then we will just repeat everything again more rainfall more flooding down here perhaps with that next system doesn't look to become a nor'easter and then we will just have to wait and see what the forecast or what the future holds ahead of us as we go into the first week of december here on the European model, looks like things do settle down a little bit, but take note of this cold air coming in out of the north. Wait until you see the temperature anomalies and the actual air temperature. Boy, it's looking pretty cold, but just keep that in mind. Really, really cold um, across east of the Rockies from here on out, especially after Black Friday. So now what about that snowfall forecast? We're definitely looking at a lot of snow with this first initial winter storm. Um, this could um, bring perhaps anywhere between about 9 to 12 inches of snow. Some areas up here um, to the north of Wisconsin, you're looking at about maybe a foot and a half of snowfall with this winter storm. So yeah, definitely um, quite significant for your Thanksgiving. And yeah, you're going to have a white Thanksgiving even it's not even Christmas yet. And so you're going to have snow on the ground. And it looks like that snow is not going to melt because colder air will follow behind this. And so then there's more additional snowstorms after that. This next one, though, this is the one that we'll have to really watch. This one brings about 16 inches 
of snow, maybe a foot, at least a foot of snow on this model. Painting a picture there across Chicago could get a foot of snow with that next storm. And this would be for the Saturday into Sunday time frame. Maybe more additional snowstorms after that, but there's a lot of uncertainty beyond that. But I'll tell you, lake effect snow going to really add up with this type of pattern that we're headed into. You can see along the coast of Lake Michigan here, maybe another two or three feet of snowfall over the next couple of weeks. And yeah, some of the higher elevations here, I'm um, just to the east of Watertown. Now you might get four feet of snowfall in the next two weeks. I repeat, over the next two weeks. And then look at this, over northern Wisconsin, yeah, you're looking at 53 inches. Oh man, that's a lot of snow. That's a lot of snow, but over the next couple of weeks. So here's a look at the rainfall forecast, of course. The Pacific Northwest looking at about two to four inches of rainfall over the next two weeks. The deep south here looking at anywhere between one to three inches of rainfall. And then, of course, up here doesn't really matter because it's going to be in the in the form of snow. But you can see total water equivalent here around three to four inches. So, yeah, definitely uh, accumulative snowfall across the Great Lakes, helping to get that water out of it. So now... Let's take a look at the air temperature forecast because this is going to be another big concern. You guys think, oh, it's about the snow, it's about this, it's about that, the strong winds. No, it's about the temperatures as well. It is going to get bone cold out there. Really, really concerned about this pattern coming um, over the next couple of weeks. You can see here on the Euro, of course, if you're in Indiana, yes, Feel it today. Enjoy it while it lasts. Temperatures in the 50s over the next couple of days. But boy, once that colder air arrives, you're going to go right down into the low 30s even during the day. And then eventually, probably even to the low 20s, mid to low 20s at night, even across um, much of the Appalachians and Northeast. And this would be for your Black Friday shopping. By the way, for Thanksgiving, I didn't want to forget about that as well. And you can see for Thanksgiving, really nice to the south, even including California, except for the Central Valley because of that Thule fog that we're going to have. But across the north, boy, it's going to be cold. And if you're brave enough to wait in long lines for Black Friday at Best Buy or, say, Walmart, Target, you name it, yeah, it's going to be pretty cold here uh, for sure. And it's only going to get colder, folks. It's not going anywhere. Watch this. As we go into um, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday next week, look how cold this is. Yeah, welcoming some negative temperatures overnight. Look at this. For Monday morning in about seven days, we're looking at negative 5 to negative 10 degrees below zero. Yeah, this is not below 32 degrees. This is below zero. Um, that's really really cold and then of course up here in quebec and ontario canada you're looking at negative four um negative uh, 15 degrees all right and then look at this for indiana yes ethan b you better watch this model very closely this is eight days out negative eight negative 10 degrees man that is very very bad that is very cold and when you factor in the wind chill factor on top of that yeah, yeah, negative 25. That's going to be a nail biter. Whew. That is pretty, pretty concerning. Really concerning in itself. And then it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Don't get too comfortable because here's more. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> it just keeps coming. This whole pattern change, maybe because of the sudden stratospheric uh, polar vortex warming, um, really weakening it a lot. It's going to send a lot of this colder air southward. And that's going to continue because look at here's another fetch of colder air eventually coming into the region. But boy, if you're going into Canada uh, for early December, yeah, negative 30 degrees below zero. That is not the wind chill, by the way. We look at the wind chill up there. Yeah, negative 40, negative 50 degrees. Yeah, winter is in full swing up there as we uh, as we go into early December. Really quickly, I wanted to show you all the temperature anomaly forecast because this is what's going to matter a whole lot here. Definitely uh, below average temperatures by about 5 to 10 degrees. That's going to continue to build as we go into Friday. So for Black Friday, temperatures will be below average while the West has temperatures above average. And this is going to continue for a while. Look at all this colder air moving in as we go into Sunday and Monday next week. Temperatures anywhere between 15 to 20 degrees below average. Then 
um, as we go into um, the first full week of December, it's even going to be colder. Look at this. We are looking at temperatures here anywhere between 25 to 35 degrees below average, and then maybe a brief warm up before more colder weather dominates. So long story short, as we go into Thanksgiving and beyond, temperatures will take a big hit downward and will remain well below average, possibly recordly below average as we go into the first full week of December. So you definitely need to be bracing yourself for this extreme weather pattern change coming. But anyways, if you did find today's weather forecast very helpful, detailed, informative, and life-saving, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, folks. Please hit that like button. Please share this with their family and friends on social media. It really means a lot because boy, oh boy, once we get past Thanksgiving here with my secondary job, I will be available much more to upload as often as I can possible. I do apologize about the lack of uploading solely because I've been getting a lot of hours at my secondary job, 40 hours I'm working this week, which means I'm not going to have a video out tomorrow, nor will I have a video out on uh, Thursday, maybe on Thursday, we'll see. Everyone's going to be um, doing their Thanksgiving um, food, meal preparation, probably will take the day off for the holiday there, but should be back on Friday with another video otherwise on this crazy weather pattern.